right what is going on everybody it's john here and today i am finally bringing you guys my honest review and first impressions of the call of duty black ops cold war alpha first things first i want to apologize for being a little late with this video because i know the alpha ended a couple days ago and here i am barely uploading my review of it again guys i've been pretty busy with school specifically homework in fact i've been pretty busy with it that ever since the alpha ended i have not gotten the chance to play just one game one game of modern warfare because of homework however in case you guys haven't noticed that has not stopped me from uploading my black ops cold war alpha videos as of recording this video i uploaded my mp5 video today tomorrow i will be uploading this review on friday i'm going to be live streaming and on saturday and sunday i will be uploading uh making this week a five day upload which is pretty rare for me especially right now so again guys i want to apologize for uploading these videos a little late when i should have uploaded them a few days before but long story short <laughs> homework is ass but anyways getting back on topic after experiencing the alpha over the weekend on friday and saturday pretty much all day except for sunday because it ended at 10 a.m i'm finally ready to give you guys my honest review and first impressions of the alpha so with that being said let's just go ahead and get started the first thing i want to talk about is the gameplay such as the gunplay the movement the time to kill the feel of the game etc one of my first impressions of this was the gameplay feels noticeably different compared to modern warfare it felt so different that i had to get used to it it wasn't like oh yeah my first game on i was already used to it and i was already going off which i did do pretty good for my first game but no i wasn't used to the game completely yet personally i found the gunplay to be very enjoyable because every time you got a kill it felt very satisfying since the health is slightly higher on this game than it has been in the previous game it's 150 now which i will get into that in a few moments the movement was nice it feels slightly faster than modern warfare which is a part of treyarch's signature gameplay trailer games have been known for being very fast paced so this is pretty much a given however i will admit that sliding is a bit too crazy i feel like every time you slide you go way too far and quick it feels more like an exo slide from black ops 3 or infinite warfare than a normal slide from black ops 4 so i hope this gets adjusted before the beta the time to kill is fantastic it's slightly slower than modern warfare and slightly faster than black ops 4 just making it the perfect balance by the way the health is 150 like i just mentioned a few moments ago and since the time to kill is slightly faster than black ops 4 and slightly slower than modern warfare it kind of feels like 125 health more than 150 which is the health we were all hoping for back in black ops 4 since we thought it would be perfectly balanced and here on black ops cold war well that seems to be the case and the feel of the game is kind of like black ops 4 modern warfare and a little bit of black ops 2 combined instead of what i originally anticipated which was black ops 1 black ops 2 and black ops 4 combined but it still has that treyarch feel even though it kind of feels like modern warfare Warfare, don't think that's going to be as campy as Modern Warfare. The movement is going to be like Modern Warfare where you can mount, you could open doors. No, none of that is present in Black Ops 4 War, by the way. No doors, no mounting, none of that. It has that Treyarch feel, which, you know what I mean. Whenever you go on a Treyarch game like Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, you just feel it. You could feel that Treyarch feel every time you move, you shoot, any of that. We got three maps, which is a very good amount for an alpha, especially. I mean, by the time the beta comes, we're for sure going to have a couple more. But these maps were Satellite, Miami, and Mon Moscow. If I had to rank these three maps from best to worst, number one would be, without a doubt, Satellite, number two, Moscow, and number three, Miami. Satellite was the best map to me because it was a very rusher-friendly map. Everybody, including the snipers, were rushing. And sure, there were a couple occasions where people would stay in the back and just snipe, but even they would start rushing after a while. This was also the best map in the alpha for score streaks because it was wide open. So if you called in a chopper gunner, a napalm strike, an attack chopper, a mortar strike or whatever you were guaranteed to get a good amount of kills since there aren't many spots to take cover moscow was another great map to me in fact i thought it was the best map in the alpha before playing satellite many times because it is another rusher friendly map everybody rushes but my only issue with it is it is not a great map for score streaks if you call in a chopper gunner napalm strike mortar strike or any other kill streak you will not get that many kills or you might not even get one kill because most of the time people are indoors or i should say most of the map is indoors so by the time you call in a chopper gunner attack chopper napalm strike mortar strike or whatever everybody will either already be inside or be making their way inside and that will cause you to not get a single kill at times and finally we have miami the worst map in the alpha at least to me and many other people and before i start talking about why this map is the worst 
Let me just say that Miami is aesthetically beautiful. It is very colorful, the sunset is beautiful. If you look outside of the map and you look at the sky, you can see how nice it is. And if you want to just explore the map, it is very nice because there are many things to explore on here and also many things to interact with. Like <laughs> there's a diving board where if you jump on it, it will make you jump very high up in the air. It's kind of like you're about to dive into the pool. So yeah, Miami is aesthetically beautiful, but in terms of gameplay, no. This map is horrible. It is very camper friendly. There are many balconies where you could just stay in camp. Nobody rushes mid because if you rush mid, that is basically a death wish since the people camping on the balconies will easily take you out since they have a nice view on you. And it is also the worst for objective modes because for domination, if you want to capture the B flag, you have to go to the middle of the map where that's basically a death wish. And for hard point, you will get the hard point in the middle of the map as well. So... <laughs> Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna go there when that happens. Some people even like to refer to this map as the Piccadilly of Black Ops Cold War, which, oh my goodness, I don't know if I will go that far, but it is kind of like Piccadilly, mainly because of the midsection. It is not like I hate this map, like hate as in I would never want to play this map ever again, but I would definitely choose Moscow or Satellite over this map any time of the week. And I'm very happy that there are no doors and you're not able to mount because imagine if there were doors and you were able to mount on this map. <laughs> that would basically be Piccadilly and I would never want to play this map either. We had 17 weapons in total, which is a pretty good amount for an alpha. And those were three ARs, the XM4, the AK-47 and the Craig 6, three SMGs, the MP5, the Type A-21 and the AK-74U, two tactical rifles, the M-16 and the Type 63, two LMGs, the RPD and the Sonar 63, two sniper rifles, the LW-3 Tundra and Pelinton 703, two shotguns, the Gallo SA-12 and the Howard 77, two pistols, the 1911 and the Diamati, and one launcher, the Sigma-2. Out of all these weapons, I only use the XM-4, the Craig 6, the MP5, the Type A-21, the AK-74U, the 1911, and the Amadi. I didn't get a chance to use all of them because <laughs> my go-to weapon was the AK-74U and my second go-to was the MP5 with my favorite pistol being the Diamati. When the beta arrives, I will be trying out every weapon and I can't believe it guys, I actually didn't try every weapon because <laughs> I was just using the AK-74U the whole time. And for an alpha, it was pretty stable, at least for me. I didn't get any connection interruptions. I did get a one second lag for like two to three games only and I got a blue screen just once, but that was pretty much it. I didn't get any serious lag after that or anything like that. All right guys, now I want to talk about two topics that really need to be adjusted before the beta arrives or especially the full game because if these two things are not adjusted then there could be very big problems when the full game arrives or even the beta number one sniping oh my goodness guys sniping was out of control and the alpha and no it wasn't out of control because everybody was doing it which yeah everybody was doing it but it was out of control because it was just simply too overpowered and easy to do. I cannot tell you guys how many times I got one shotted by a sniper after putting so many shots into him. I probably put like five shots with my AK-74U. I needed one more shot, just one more. And all he had to do was just one shot me. Just ADS very quickly and kill me like it's the easiest thing ever. And I know, I know, I was a sniper back in my days, but wow, sniping on this game is easier than in Black Ops 2, World War 2, Infinite Warfare, all these old games. It's just the easiest thing ever in Black Ops Cold War. And it's also a bit unfair because the health is 150, not 100. If it was 100, then yeah, sure, maybe they'll get a small pass. Not a 100% pass, just a small pass. But since it's 150, it takes more shots for red gunners to kill an enemy. And for snipers to just require one shot still, I don't think it's fair. You could literally load your entire clip and all the sniper has to do is one shot you and you're dead. And of course that is very infuriating because <laughs> you're loading your entire clip, he's not dead, all he has to do is shoot you one time and you're dead. So it's pretty unfair and oh man, I probably rage quit it twice because of snipers and there was one night where I closed up and I just got off for the night because of them. The good news is Tony Flame went on Twitter and tweeted that the snipers will be getting balanced by the time the beta arrives and of course the full game as well. But what shocked me was he mentioned that the reason why the snipers were so OP was because they buffed them on purpose so they can collect data. Um, what is that exactly supposed to mean? I mean, <laughs> collect data? As in, if the snipers are too OP, we'll nerf them, or if they're too underpowered, we'll buff them? Because if that was what they're talking about, 
I think it was a bit obvious that the snipers were a little too good, don't you guys think? I'm not saying to nerf the snipers into the ground and make them completely useless. No, a simple nerf to the snipers could be the ADS speed. All you have to do is just nerf the ADS speed by a good amount and make sure that they are not able to quick scope easily and just one shot everybody like it's no problem. But like I mentioned, it's not really a big problem anymore since Tony Flame already announced that they will be getting balanced by the time the beta arrives, but it is still a little bit worrying because I feel like the snipers are still gonna be OP, so we'll see. And the second and final thing I wanna talk about is skill-based matchmaking. All right, guys, let me just mention right now that if I were to talk about this in full detail for a long time, we would be here for another 20 to 30 minutes, honestly. So I'm gonna try my hardest not to take too much time talking about this. But this is definitely a topic I need to talk about because skill-based matchmaking was horrific in the alpha. What's crazy is this is just an alpha. It's not even the beta or the full game, obviously. And we already have skill-based matchmaking. And what's even crazier is we were only playing against PS4 players and we already had SBMM in the game. So imagine how worse the SBMM is gonna get by the time the beta rolls where we have the crossplay beta, everyone's gonna be playing PS4 players, Xbox players, and PC players. Yeah, it's gonna be horrendous. You had pro players like Scumpy. Out of all people, Scumpy was reverse boosting so he can get good lobbies in the alpha. <laughs> That is crazy, man. I just, out of all people, I never thought Scumpy would do that. And I don't blame him. I don't blame anybody that was reverse boosting in the alpha to get good lobbies because see, that's the problem with skill-based matchmaking. It removes the fun out of Call of Duty or any game for that matter. It is not fun at all when you have to run into sweats every single lobby, every single day because you have a high KD and you do good at the game. It's like you get punished for being good at the game, basically. And I understand that SBMM is here so I can protect the new players at Call of Duty, make sure they don't get pump stomped the first ever game they play and give them a little quote-unquote save space and according to the developers SBMM has been in every Call of Duty game but come on in Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 2 and all these old COD games it was not that heavy it was not as heavy as it is right now it's just not fun at all they go against sweats every single day because every lobby you join you're gonna be playing against sweaty tryhards out of this world I love to drop shot that look to jump shot, strafe, you know, play like they're literally playing in a Call of Duty tournament that if you win, you're gonna get a million dollars or something. And trust me guys, the game could be beautiful. It could be amazing, which right now it is amazing. I love the gameplay. I love pretty much everything about the game minus Miami. I don't really like the map too much, but if SBMM is super heavy and you know, you're running into a bunch of sweats that have never went outside, enjoy the sunlight, it's gonna make the game very repetitive and just not fun. And I forgot to mention that skill-based matchmaking was such a huge problem in the alpha that hashtag SBMM went trending on Twitter. And I'm not exactly sure if it's still trending as of recording this video, but that is absolutely insane. That's how you know many people are just tired of it already. So all I'm saying is I hope the SBMM is adjusted and tuned down a bit for the beta because if a lot of people were complaining about it here in the alpha, what makes us think that we're not gonna complain about it in the beta or the full game? Oh man, the crossplay beta, that one's gonna be interesting. Anyways guys, that is pretty much going to be my honest review of the Black Ops Cold War Alpha and I apologize for staying on the SBMM and sniping topics for a long time. It's just... <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I talked about these two topics more than the other ones because these are two problems that really need to be adjusted before the beta and especially the full game. Sniping, well, according to Tony Flame, it's already going to be balanced, so I'm not really too worried about that, but SBMM, that is still a huge worry. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and turn on post notifications so you guys are notified every single time when I upload. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about the Black Ops Cold War Alpha. Did you guys enjoy it? Was it disappointing? Did you guys have a lot of fun on it with your friends? Maybe SBMM destroyed it for you? Anything, let me know. Like I said, I'm hoping for SBMM to be balanced as well, but there is a high possibility, and I would say a 99.9% .9 that the SBMM will remain the same, and <laughs> Hell, it might even get worse by the time the crossplay beta comes. Other than that, the game was very fun. I really love the feel of it, the gameplay, the movement, the time to kill, uh, the maps, except for Miami a little bit, uh, the weapons, all of that kind of stuff. I'm just hoping for a miracle. For the last time, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to drop a like and hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Thursday. And without that being said, it's been John, hoping for SBMM to be gone, or I should say hoping for something that will never happen. And I'm out. Peace.